Well, hello! We've just uh, played Disney's Villainous. First thing that jumps out of me at this game in terms of just the quality of the, the components that you get. So these really nice, really simple but really nice game boards. So it's flipping it up so it's the right way up. Um, and it is that simple. You've got four places that you can move between. There are four actions on each base that you then work through. But as the game moves on, um, your opponents can start blocking some of your actions and making it a little bit more difficult. And that's what this game in essence is. It's a bit of a take that game trying to prevent others from winning while you're working feverishly away trying to get to your win condition and your objective, which is here. Um, so really good quality components. You all have these lovely minis as well. And the artwork in the game is absolutely beautiful. Um, classic Disney all the way through. Um, Cards were really, you know, lots of really good actions and things that you can do on the cards to keep things moving, change things up, um, and it's sort of working through your deck and working what you've got in your deck to be able to put um, little combos together so you can get closer to your win condition. I guess first play, the only drawback with a game of this type, which is asymmetric, is you are just so focused on what you're doing. I managed to win. I think that was, in essence, complete fluke. I hadn't got a clue what the other two were doing. I wasn't interested in what they were doing. I was just focused on mine and just, I guess, to a bit of luck in terms of what cards came through, I was able to get to win. I reckon in the future, once we've played this three, four, five more times and you've got a real handle on um, what you're doing and what your character can do, it'll be far more about stopping the other characters getting closer to their win condition and get a little bit nastier too. Really good game. Really enjoyed it. G'day campers. What a treat. As Hipster Pete said, villainous Disney game, great. Um, let's go through it. I played as Maleficent, uh, and we all tried to work out what the different pieces were before we started. A uh, little novelty, but uh, loved it. I, as Pete said, just so focused on my own game, just getting my head around the victory conditions and the cards that I had. The artwork, fantastic. Uh, again, quality is, it's there. Uh, durability, some of the things I think the card may be a little thin. Uh, the box is not as thick as some that we've gotten through Kickstarter, but you know, a hell of a lot better than Fireball Island as far as that goes. Um, I, I'm so looking forward to getting in and having a second go at this game. I need to crack Maleficent so I can beat the Hipster King before I move on to another character. Top game, playing it again. So, uh, well, the other lords, they've pretty much summed up this game for us. I was uh, Ursula, because she's a little bit plump, like I am. But check out the artwork. Um, so yeah, just look at look at the artwork on there. Brilliant, effectively Disney stills, and uh, even the artwork on the back of the cards as well. Each character has uh, slightly different artwork, obviously that fits in with their theme. So yeah, one thing I really liked was the theming. So each character had special abilities that fitted in so well with the characters in what well, the films. So like uh, Hipster King Pete, he was Jafar. His special ability that kept on coming out through a number of the different cards was he could hypnotise uh, the heroes to become allies on his side. Uh, just like in the film where Jafar hypnotises people to do his bidding. Mine, Ursula, she loved to go through the discard pile. So, you know, she used anything that was discarded into the sea in the film to her gain and again, she was able to do that in the, uh, the, the game. So the theming was brilliant, and I really enjoyed that. And it felt fun to do that, like you were part and piece of that film. Um, great game. Looking forward to getting used to uh, the Ursula character and then trying my hand out with different ones as well. Uh, really like the take that element of the game. Um, and dealing, dishing out fate on all the other players. Good game. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure it's whether it, I don't know whether it's what we say is it like a, is it a gateway? I'm not really sure. I think there's I think there's quite a lot to it. Um, what's great is is the kind of like the little tips uh, thing that you get for each character. Um, it's a heck of a lot more gateway than vast, uh, and although it's sort of asymmetrical and vast is as well, but my word, you've got so much more to get your head around with vast. Whereas this one is a lot more gateway in that sense. But, uh, but still, there's quite a lot of depth and a lot of strategy uh, involved as well. So one that I will definitely be playing throughout this year. Yes.